हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई मूम एंड टुडे वी आर डार विद द फैंटास्टिक वर्ल्ड ऑफ लिनक्स और टू बी प्रिसाइज माय एक्सपीरियंस विद लिनक्स एंड यस एज यू नो आई एम गोना डिस्टर्ब हॉप अगेन बट आई हैव अ रियली गुड रीजन फॉर दैट नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द होल स्टोरी आई नीड टू इंस्टॉल विंडोज आई नीड इट टू बिकॉज़ ऑफ माय कॉलेज एंड देन द वर्क आई एम प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एंड माय कोर्स एंड ब्ला 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 फॉर दैट आई नीड विंडोज दैट्स अ फिक्स्ड पॉइंट so it was clear that i needed to promptly reinstall everything else like delete everything wipe the whole drive then install windows then linux and so i knew that my time with minjaro has come to an end like i will say minjaro was really amazing for me it did not broke and the reason and distro hopping is not because minjaro was not good enough but because i need to try even more i needed something daring something new to try it out and yeah a new topic to create videos as well so yeah i have decided to distro hop from minjaro to axe os or axos i have recently created videos about trying it and it was really voila just amazing peaceful and it was hyperland so you know so i successfully installed windows and before that i wiped my ssd so yeah there's no linux right now and we're going to install one and yeah the desktop does looks good doesn't it well Let's get started and install Linux. Okay, so here I am on my Windows desktop, and yes, I know it looks cool and beautiful. So yeah, just please don't spam in the comment section that you know Windows is bad because sometimes Windows is good. Now here is the Axios NVIDIA ISO. The link is in the description. You can install it. So let's just go on with Rufus. I could have used Belina Etcher, but I believe Rufus is faster and better. There we go. Perfectly ready. Let's start the process. Yes, yes, and there we go. Axios. I have NVIDIA GPU, so yeah, I'll be going on with that. Now I will say, while I'm on Windows, I will actually point out why Windows is not so good and why I'm still going on with Linux. So when you go to the performance section, you can see I'm right now using approximately eight GBs of RAM. Can you believe eight GBs of RAM? and when we go to the process then let's just take a look what is actually taking so much ram and when you see this new application doing that it's just the windows operating system so heavy yes i have wallpaper engine in the background which actually looks gorgeous and let's say it uses 1 gb of ram which is definitely not possible but still let's just assume that even then why it's just because windows is so bloated You see I tried to uninstall a lot of stuff but there are still a, a hell lot of applications which I don't use in my day to day life and yeah you see that yellow dot that says I'm me I'm going to need to do this 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 well let me just take a look at windows updates so this still a bloody update available and last check I actually updated yesterday and today I have another update so yes you know why I love linux But Windows also has its own perks, just like DaVinci Resolve Studio. Well, it's just normal DaVinci Resolve. This one actually works fantastic. The games I play, Far Cry 84, I'm trying this new game, Wuthering Ways. The performance is actually kind of better and more stable. But still, Linux has its own perks, and yeah, Linux also gives amazing battery life as well. Looks like my ads was, you know, this is done. Now it is time to actually just go and install it, shall we? Okay so here I am in the BIOS let's go to the boot menu USB enter and this is it my beautiful and favorite bootloader till now okay then so let's start and this one more thing i also like this boot animation as well which is going to load in 1 2 maybe 3 just a little there it is my favorite boot animation almost similar to apple maybe loading there it is No, I'll do the work, install it, and we'll meet directly into the operating system after installation, shall we? So here we are after installation, and the first impression, man, this is beautiful. Literally, man, the most beautiful desktop till now I've used. When you go here, you have all the settings like the GPU screen recorder I installed, then the usual settings of the desktop, the effects, development, customizations, Bluetooth devices. If I turn it on. Right now there isn't any. Then audio source I have to in and out. Then my Wi-Fi. You can also add to-do lists as well. Then you have the ability to install 
AI assistant directly, but you're going to need an API key. Then you have the ability to check for updates directly from here. Nice. And then this, is, when you press the Windows or Super button, this is what happens. All the workspaces along with the ability to search. For example, I want Firefox. There it is. I can enter and Firefox is going to launch. Let's say I want the terminal. Now the terminal is one of the most beautiful ones I've ever used. That is called foot. There it is. Foot. And when I type new fetch, this is what happens. Nice. It is using Sleek's desktop on VLint. Very good. And only 961 packages I installed right now, which I did most of them later on. So yeah, it is pretty lightweight. Now the reason I'm using this amount of RAM is because first, you know, I have a lot of things going on in the background along with a screen recording as well. Let's check. Do I have NVIDIA SMI? Yes, I do. And right now, 101 MBs. That is because it's using this GPU screen recorder right now. And yeah, it is the latest version thanks to Arch. And this is lock screen. There you go. Back. This is the desktop. Like four finger swipe. There it is. And the amount of applications right now is pretty minimal. Like I installed OBS, then I installed GNOME softwares. You also have System Monitor as well, which, well, yeah, is already launched here. Now let me just launch System Launcher, uh, System Monitor. As you can see, here it is. And CPU is literally using almost minimal because right now I have my GPU screen recorder enabled. So yeah, it works. It just works. And then here at the amount of CPU being used, RAM being used, the temperature will, the temperature one doesn't work because for business, property drivers, you know. But besides that, we have the disk space, how much amount of it is available. Now this is of slash only, not slash home. And then the amount of RAM being used and available, that stuff. It is pretty minimal and nice. And now I don't know what am I supposed to do. Like, yeah, the whole, op the whole process was pretty complicated. Maybe I have AxOS installed. Let's check about AxOS. It is the 25.06 variant. Our docs created this thing. Let's go to the website. Like, it is pretty awesome operating system. I had the option for the default Sleeks desktop. Then this is Scala. This is the default KDE. And then they have a new and beautiful. I don't remember this name, but it is most probably Hyperland. I wanted to try this one as well. Shall I reinstall the whole operating system just for this one? I don't know, let me know in the comments. But let me just show you how it looks like. For example, the desktops page. Now Theom. There it is, Theom. This is based on i3 window management. So yeah, it is lightweight. This is how it looks like. Nice. And yeah, it adapts to the wallpaper and the, you know, the theme you apply. Welcome to a common interest. Nice. It is very lightweight, but less user-friendly than Plasma. But less feature rich as compared to sleeks so yeah but like it is they have a lot of desktops for particular you know type of people if you want a sleek desktop then go on with sleeks if you want a full-fledged desktop go on with plasma if you want a little different desktop environment then go on with kala and if you want a minimal tiling window management system then go on with theom yep the developer is working pretty hard and pretty greatly in my opinion. And yeah, I'll keep you all up to date about the progress on this operating system. And I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, I'm signing out.